My name is Kathleen Callow, normally called Kay, and I worked at the Common Cold Unit as a technician to start with, and I ended up as senior research officer. I started off working in one of the university labs in Oxford as a technician. Then I got married and my husband had got a job in, in Rome and he said, well, in order to, to be my wife, you've got to go and live in Rome. <laughs> and I got a job in the same institute as he was working in because he worked for Chain, one of the Nobel Prize winners for penicillin. And that was what I was working on with penicillin, but not for very long because of the children came along rather unexpectedly and uh, put an end to my career for a bit. We thought it was best to come back to England. So my husband got a job at Porton. I was involved with the children for a bit, but then I realised I wanted to do something more with my brain. So I went into teaching, a science teacher, but I didn't really get on with it very well. And I saw a job advertised at the Common Cold Unit and I applied and got the job as a technician to work on research on viruses, common cold viruses. And uh, I was there for 18 years. Well, to start with, I had to go to the volunteers and take samples of their nasal secretions, then taking them back to the lab and testing them for virus. And I also was involved with testing their blood samples because they had a blood sample taken when they arrived and then they sent back a blood sample three weeks later to see whether there'd been an increase in antibodies to the virus they'd been given. The volunteers that came were essential because we wanted to test the effects of the virus in people rather than just using lab equipment. There was the, the doctor who, who was the, on the clinical side, but then there was David Tyrrell who was on the scientific side. We were the first people to actually grow the virus, got a rhinovirus in tissue culture. And I think that's very important for the work that's gone on since. The one thing I did, which I did on my own, and I, re I wrote a paper on my own without other people. The volunteers have been given coronavirus. It wasn't the coronavirus that's prevalent now, of course. And I found that the volunteers that were atopic, that means they were inclined to be allergic to things. They had a lot of IgE in their blood and their nasal secretions. They got worse colds than people who were less atopic. I wanted to do an open university degree. I also wanted to get the MI Bar membership of the Institute of Biology, which would involve a, 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 a study, a bit like a PhD, really. I did that dissertation on the measurement of antibodies to neuraminidase of the flu virus. I was a graduate and I became, first of all, research officer, then senior research officer. They were all very nice people and it was the best 18 years of my life. I really enjoyed it. <laughs>